Welcome back here on RowanAthletics.com for game two of today's doubleheader between the Rowan Profs and the Kane Cougars. And that's going to be strike three caught. So three strikes there. Sell down Mark Antonio. One out. Batting average of 407. Definitely a reliable guy. Gets a good pitch there. And it's going to be out to right field and stay fair. He's in the second standing. Sliding, and he is safe at second. Eric DiDomenico does have six home runs on the season. So you got to be careful of his power. And he's going to hit that one to the outfield. And that will be a sac enough for a sacrifice fly. Schooley scores from third. They retired DiDomenico. Now one out. Runners advance, and we got runners on the corners. Rowan leads 1-0. It's going to be grounded to short. Slow roller. And able to get Ronyek at second, but a run will score. Nicely done there. Extends the lead 2-0. And that's going to be low. Ball four. Got to be quick getting on that because there is still a live runner off that walk. They get on it and it is first and second. Third. First pitch swinging to second. And back to first. He is safe at first. They do get the runner at second and a run will come in to score. A runner in scoring position at second base. Swings on that one, and it's going to drop in center field. Rounding third and heading for home. That will be the fourth run. Eric DiDomenico scores on that one. Nice piece of hitting. Extends the Roan lead for nothing. And he gets a huge strikeout. Great work by Zalman. Makes contact there. Great work to make something out of nothing there. And runners will be on the corners. Extend Rowan back on top. He puts it in play, and that's exactly what he's going to do. School, he looks for third, and he's in standing. Great hitting by Cannon. Shifting the momentum. Chisano had it going on, descending, but late struggles with two outs. And Rowan. Puts another one on the board. 5-4 lead. And that's going to be ball four. So Keenan walks with bases loaded. And a run comes in. Doesn't get much easier than that. Rowan extends their lead to 6-4. That lead hasn't gone down at all. And it's swung on and missed. 3-2 nice. pitch. Swung on and driven past second base. And that's going to score. Yes, it will. We're tied up, seven all. Great piece of hitting by Tyre Cannon. And one out. Let's see what Dylan Maria goes with here. That's going to be strike three right past him. Lined out to the left field and it's gonna score a run. Deficiani looks at two and he's gonna be in there standing. Great piece of hitting. Breaking this tie, it's now 8-7, courtesy of Pat Deficiani. Best cannon now on one, two. The deal. And ring him up. Strike three looking. But nobody on bases. It's just got to focus on the batter. One, one bat at her at a time. That one's high, but it looked like he went. And yes, he did. Says the home plate umpire. Ring him up. Strike three. That's popped up high. De Dominico's under it. And he catches it. And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Buffs win game two. Our score of 8-7 and win the regular season crown 
for the New Jersey Athletic Conference. Rowan will finish first in the end, Jack, after taking two from Kane Tuesday today. Rowan moves on to the playoffs. Huge momentum wins today. Nicely done by Rowan.